Thank you. You have a nice day. You too. What is that, babe? I have no idea. <laughs> we just got a random box dropped off. Just kidding. We just got a new MacBook Pro 15 inch. So we're gonna do an unboxing. This was a surprise for me. I knew it was coming today, but I did not know Eric was planning on buying this. And the other day I got home from work and he's like, I bought something and then I had to guess what it was. And it was a new computer because the one that I use is like seven years old which Eric has fixed it because he's really good with stuff like that. So it works okay, but it has like little glitches and stuff sometimes and it's kind of frustrating. So Eric surprised me and got this. Tell them about the deal that you got. If any of you are familiar with Apple, they like never do discounts or deals on their stuff. I shouldn't say never, but they rarely do. They rarely mark their stuff down. Well. I randomly came across the, an article the other day and it said basically Apple is allowing the people that sell their devices to slash the prices. So this, the MacBook Pros, this certain model was slashed $900, which is crazy. So yeah, I had already crazy. been thinking about getting um, a new computer for Kara. And then when I saw this, I was like, I'm not going to see this good deal again. So. So we it. got one. It's it's both of ours, but I'm guessing I'll probably end up using it more just for my videos and stuff. And this, like, as far as like what's inside the computer, the actual like components, it's such a huge step up for Kara compared to what's in her computer right now. <gasps> Maddie, do you want a new computer too? Huh? She just likes the smell of the box because it smells awful. <laughs> The box literally smells like pee. Like, of course Maddie would love it. Well, I'll let you do this since it's yours. Okay. I mean, the actual unboxing. This is what the box looks like. Okay, so. Oh, he also got the dark gray color, which, what is it called? Space gray? Space gray. Which my old one was not this color, so. It's so thin. You might not be able to tell a huge difference on this, but the newer one is so much thinner. Yeah, it so is. So much more thin than the old one. So Pro. thin. So also, this one is a 15 inch, and this one was 13, right? Yes. So this is the size dis size difference. So the computer's on top, and then in the box it has the charger. Oh, it also has this new kind of charger, which the, the old computer didn't have. USB-C. Yeah. And then... I don't think there's What is there's she anything doing? Else. She's literally licking the box. And then... It's covered in this little film thing. Okay, I did not do that graceful <laughs> at all. I like that space gray so yeah, much better. I, I don't know it's if it's so just because it's different, but... Oh, also, we were watching a video about it, and they said that the apple doesn't light up anymore. It's like, it's kind of like a mirror, but it doesn't light up. This thing is huge. What is the actual name for that? The... is it the touchpad or the trackpad? So pretty! And it has this um, touch bar right here, which that'll kind of be interesting to you to learn to use because the old computer didn't have that either and then the speakers are on the side you literally can't even tell they're there like they just feel like the rest of the computer i'm gonna plug it in now because it's i don't know if it's dead but it's not charged since it's new so i'll plug it in and then show what it looks like when it turns on so originally before when i was thinking about getting her a computer i was going to get her the macbook pro but the it was one model older than this. It didn't have that touch bar on the top. And I I just didn't think the touch bar was absolutely necessary and obviously the older models were cheaper. But when I saw these deals, this actual model with the touch bar was cheaper than the older model. So for that reason, I went ahead and got it. And the actual components inside, which I mentioned earlier, are a lot better and faster than the older models too so yeah it was weird it was like the nicer ones were cheaper than the yeah the other ones so it was a perfect time to get a computer <laughs> Why are you okay so i'm gonna plug it in 
and then hopefully it'll turn on. Is that how I turn it on? Yeah. Yeah, it probably needs to charge a little bit, so we'll be back. Never mind, it's like five seconds later and we have some action. Maddie's waiting for her doggy computer to arrive so she can go on dog tube. Okay, right now we're just going through all the setup steps basically, so I chose the Wi-Fi and all that, but this little um, strip came on. The lights on there came on. So we're still in the setup process. We had a few issues, but now we are, um, there's a touch ID for your fingerprint on here to unlock the computer, so she's getting that all set up right now. It's basically just like when you do it on your iPhone. Everything is all set up now for the most part, like all the preliminary stuff, and now it's pretty much ready to use, right? Yep. It looks so nice. I think it'll probably take me a little while to get used to this little touchpad thing. Like it has Siri over here and different stuff, but I think it'll be cool once I get the hang of it. Eric wants to listen to the audio and see how good it is. Oh, this is the ad. <laughs> well, I guess it really doesn't matter. It sounds good though. I can hear it. I can hear it on both sides. Yeah. Detroit, a city you'd associate with building cars at a massive scale. North of the city, we found a man who tears them apart piece by piece. His latest project, Tesla's Model 3. I will do updates and stuff whenever I find like new cool things on here <laughs> to show you, but the resolution looks really good. The audio sounds good. I mean, it seems really nice, and the charger seems more simple. I don't know if it is. But well, it's different, you know. The one, the MacBook that we had before, it was the magnetic. Um, there's a certain name for it, but it was the magnetic one that kind of snaps in. We had to replace that once, the charger, and it was what, like seventy or eighty dollars because yeah. you, you have, if if the cord frays, you have to replace the adapter too since they're connected. But on this one, the USB C, if the cord frays, it's not connected to the adapter, so we only have to replace the cord, which will obviously be a lot cheaper than replacing the adapter as well. So that's one good thing. Yeah. So far, our first impression is that we really like it, but it did tell me that my Apple ID password was wrong, and I know it was right. And comment below if you've had the same problem recently, because I know two other people that have had, and it wasn't even on a new computer, it was just on their phone. They were like trying to download an app, and it kept telling them that their password was wrong and they knew it was the right password and that happened to me when I was trying to sign in like I only have the one password for Apple ID so then I try to reset it and it tells me it needs to be different than your old password so obviously I was typing in the right password but it wouldn't take it and it was saying that it was incorrect so I had to change it which kind of stinks but other than that, so far it seems really nice. And I don't even know if that's like a, an issue with the computer because it happened to other people on like their phone. We're at Best Buy now. It's a lot later, but we need to get a case and one of those adapter things. So hopefully they'll have both here. They might not have a case, but I guess we can order that somewhere else if they don't. Look at all these pretty cases. There's so many colors. I think I want to get this pink one, but we're just making sure that it would fit my computer this is the computer so can we just try it on there isn't that so cute it's like it's like clear so you can see through it but i think it's cute now we're trying to find an adapter but we need to make sure that it fits with the case because i've seen reviews where they buy a case and an adapter and then they don't fit we decided to come to chick-fil-a because it's been a rough day other than getting the computer, that was a good part of the day, but it's just been like, it was a rough day at work and then people have just been like rude all day, just people in public. It's just one of those days. So Eric said he's gonna buy me some Thank chicken you, nuggets at Chick-fil-A. Hi, just give me and one moment. Absolutely, take your time. Maybe like a small lemonade. Can I, I have a free uh, chocolate chunk cookie on the app and then also just a small lemonade. A small lemonade? Absolutely. Anything else for you tonight? That'll be it. Then Eric looked at his Chick-fil-A app and he has a free chocolate chunk cookie from his birthday last week. So, and it expires in four days and we're not going to be here within the next four days. So, 
it was <laughs> meant to be yeah, it was. divine appointment. It's a sign that we were supposed to come to Chick-fil-A tonight. But do you, I don't think you really need a sign to come to Chick-fil-A, do you? No, that's true. Everything and anything is a sign to come to Chick-fil-A, right? <laughs> we're back home now and I'm gonna put on a new case and see what it looks like. It's an in-case case, and it's pink. I don't know if you can really tell the color in the store because I don't know, but this is what it looks like. Babe? Huh. So it doesn't fit. So apparently, this isn't, it says it's the 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina. Maybe the one we need is 15 inch MacBook Pro, Pro, <laughs> MacBook Pro touch bar. This must be the older model that does, it probably doesn't have the touch. Oh yeah. Oh, so that was a fail. <laughs> Um, but whenever we get the right one, I will show it. Since it was a stressful day for me and I'm all stressed, we were gonna play Mario Kart, but it's dead, which is weird because Eric just charged it like last week or the week before, and we haven't used it since then, and it's dead. But anyway, he asked if I wanted to watch a Christmas movie because he's such a cute, nice little husband and he knows that I love Christmas movies, and it's November 1st, so Christmas is basically right around the corner. So we're gonna watch Elf, and I probably won't vlog anymore tonight. So I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, it's a few days later, and Eric and I are actually on our way to go meet my family for lunch right now, because my dad has been working out of town. He's been in California for the past, like, I don't know, maybe like four months. So he did um, fly home one day in that time, but it was for less than 24 hours. So he just got home last night. We're at dinner with the fam. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Thank you. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> okay, don't mind the weird light on my head, but we just left from having dinner and it was really good. Of course, one of Maddie's fur pieces in the lens, but anyway. Fur pieces? <laughs> yes. Pieces of also fur. Also known as hair. <laughs> I got a wrap and I have leftovers for tomorrow or probably tonight. So that's a wrap. <laughs> wow, you're like more lively now. <laughs> he was like asleep on the way there. He had just woken up. How was your burger? Oh, your Jesus. <laughs> it was good. It was massive. It was one of those like big, really tall ones that yeah, it was really huge. don't fit in your mouth, but. I tried it, it was good. Also, our local Christmas radio station is on now, which is exciting, so. This is not our <laughs> local Christmas station. This is Sirius XM channel well, anyway, 70, Hallmark Christmas. And this is it's not honestly our local channel. ugly song. Um, Eric and I always have this debate about Christmas music because I like the classic Christmas songs, like to me, that's Christmas music. And Eric doesn't like the classic Christmas songs because he thinks it sounds like old people singing. <laughs> I which, don't. I mean, it kind of is, but. But my reasoning, okay, it's not because it's old people singing. It's because there's like five and a half classic Christmas songs. So they get old so fast. Like there's got to be more than that. So well, I like when I hear Christmas songs that are different that you don't typically hear because it changes things up. So. Well, I don't like those because they don't sound like Christmas. Like, they don't sound like Christmas songs unless they make me think of Christmas and childhood Christmas. But anyway, that's our debate that we always have because like, I want to listen to good Christmas songs and he's like, oh, what new Christmas songs are out this year? And I don't want the new stuff. <laughs> and we had our first snow of the year, like two days ago, right? It was, it was last No, it wasn't last night. Yesterday. It was yeah, it was, <laughs> anyway, it was um, yeah, it was snowing, and it wasn't even that much, honestly, like, it kind of snowed 
really early, early in the morning. So when I got up for work, um, there was just like a little bit on the rooftops and stuff and on people's cars. And then it was snowing on my way there, but it didn't stay on the ground. But Christmas is coming. I'm excited. Hi guys, I have had this computer for about two weeks now. So I thought I would just do like some ending thoughts or what I think of it so far. And I pretty much love it. I love everything about it. We ended up going back and getting this pink case in the right size, but I didn't vlog it because we literally did the exact same thing we did the day that we went to get the first one. We just went to Best Buy and went to Chick-fil-A. So yeah, I love the case. It's so pretty and I've been editing a couple videos on it and it seems to work just fine. The only complaint I would have is that for some reason it seems like it's really hard to drag and drop with this touchpad and I don't know if I accidentally changed a setting or something but I don't remember it being like that when I first got it. But now that I've been like doing more stuff on it, for some reason I have the hardest time dragging and dropping things. Like they literally won't drag so I probably just need to change the setting I probably like accidentally messed something up but other than that I really like it also it's kind of hard it's a lot harder to click with the touchpad but um those aren't like worth not buying it I don't think I'm pretty much used to the touch bar at the top and I really only use it for like the brightness or the volume so that's all I really have needed it for so far and I don't really use it for texting or anything so I haven't used the emojis even though that's kind of cool but yeah, I really like it so far. I definitely recommend it. And I think that's all. If you guys have any questions about it, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye guys.